You know when you watch a video and then you don't remember the thing that you saw in some podcast a few years ago and you're like, ah, I wish I could find that information. However, it's like hidden away in hours and hours of potential podcasts. What if you could ask questions to specific YouTube videos to just query for the information you're looking for? In this video, we're going to learn how to ask questions and query any YouTube video using LangChain. Let's get started. Okay, so I have my uh, VS Code open here on my left. And what we're going to be doing is first, we're going to start by importing arg parse. So arg parse is going to be used to create the CLI tool that allows me to use this as something that I can just call from the terminal. Then I'm going to import two things from LangChain. First, the YouTube loader. Uh, YouTube we're going to import the YouTube loader so that we can load a YouTube video. So we're going to come here from the document loaders and we're going to import YouTube loader. And then we're going to also import the vectorization part. So we're going to import the vector index creator. So from linkchain.indexes, import vector store index creator. Perfect. So now what we're going to be doing is uh, let me just improve here. Okay. Now we're going to set up a few functions. We're going to set up one function to extract the YouTube ID from a YouTube URL. Okay. We're also going to set up another function that's going to load and vectorize the information that we get from the YouTube video. So YouTube URL ID add video info equal to false. So this is going to allow us to do all the loading and vectorization separately from the queries. So we're going to, uh, we're going to load some URL from a YouTube video, then we're going to load and vectorize the information from that video, then we can start asking as many questions as we want. We're also going to set up the function to query any YouTube video with the query index. And that function will take in the index, which will be created in this function, load and vectorize, and it's gonna take in the query from the user. And now let's set up a main function that will run our app. So the main function is gonna be doing all the heavy lifting in the sense of it's gonna be, it's gonna have all the structure that we need to set up our app. And GitHub Copilot is already getting ahead of itself, but let's go line by line. So um, the first thing we're going to have is the parser. So we're going to use argparse dot argument parser and description and a description. And on the description, we're going to say, okay, so query a YouTube video. Uh, and so, yeah, query YouTube video. Sure. Why not? And then, yeah, we're going to add an argument to this parser. So add argument, perfect. And the name of that argument is going to be minus URL. And it's going to be of the type string. Yeah, type string and a little help description in case we want to know something. Uh, we don't remember what we should input. And it will say the YouTube URL from the video. So the URL from the YouTube video. Okay, perfect. Now that you have that, we're going to just say, okay, so args equal parser dot parse args, which will allow us to parse all the arguments. In this case, there's only one argument and that's going to be the, the URL from the YouTube video. Then what we're going to do is we're going to capture the ID of that URL. So YouTube URL ID equal extract, extract um, YouTube ID, right? And that will take in the URL. We're also going to give the index and then we're going to go load and vectorize YouTube URL ID. And that will load the YouTube video and then vectorize the information using Chroma so that we can um, 
so that we can start asking questions and querying that index, right? Then we're going to set up the input. So we're going to say, okay, so the first question, so what is your question, right? So it's going to ask a question and we're going to set up in parentheses, enter, quit, uh, to exit. Yeah. Enter, enter, quit, to exit. Okay. Okay, guys. So now we're going to set up a while loop so that we can ask multiple questions, right? Not only just uh, one question to the video. And we're going to say something like response equal the query index. And then we're going to give the index and the query. And then we're going to say print answer. And then we're going to say the response. So we're going to give the response that we got from querying the index. And finally, we're going to ask again, and I'm just going to copy this. Yeah, I'm just going to copy this query. What is your question? Exactly. So now we're going to say, okay, so if query equals quit uh, or query equals Q, we're going to break that loop. And by breaking that loop, we're out. We're, we're not asking questions anymore. And... I'm just going to say enter quit or Q, whoop, enter quit or Q here so that we can, you know, properly ask, uh, properly give the information on how to exit the app once you've asked all the queries that you want. I was also thinking about maybe, uh, okay, so how about this? Um, if we query, yeah we could we could add a save option to this thing but let's let's leave it like like that for now yeah let's leave it like that for now and that may be something that i can improve later okay so now i can just set up the main loop call the main function the only thing that we have to write these three functions yet right so for the extract youtube id what we're going to be doing is we uh, the way that we load the videos to Langchain is not through the URL itself, but is through an ID. So the way to re remove, get that ID is like this. So let's say I got some video, like, um, let's say this one from uh, Huberman. Let's see. Uh, okay, so eight hours sleep is the worst. Okay. So, all right. So how to learn skills faster. Okay, so how to learn skills faster from Huberman. That's a relatively big video. And the way that we're going to get the ID is this is the actual ID, right? And this is the information that we want. The thing that comes after the V equal. So this is the ID that we want. And to get that, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to say, okay, return youtube url dot split youtube url dot split oh wait okay return youtube url dot split and then i will split on the v equal bit okay i'm gonna write it like this yeah and then we're gonna get the last we're gonna get the last part because this is gonna return a list and then we're gonna get the last bit which is going to be the actual ID from the YouTube URL. So that's what we're going to be returning that function. And we can test it real quick here. We can say, okay, uh, say I have a new URL right here, right? So I guess the URL is this. And then I can say print extract YouTube ID and I give the URL. And I just run this to test. And let's see what happens. Boom we get the YouTube URL ID, which is this thing here. Perfect. So this thing is working great. Now let's do the rest. So load and vectorize is going to be just loading using the amazing lag library uh, lang chain. So we're just gonna say loader equal YouTube loader dot from YouTube URL. And then we're gonna give the YouTube URL ID and we're gonna say add video info Honestly, we're always going to say add video info equals false. And I'm going to remove this parameter from here so that, yeah, 
because we we don't we're always gonna set this to false. We're gonna load the YouTube the YouTube video from the URL, and then we're gonna say docs equals loader download. And from there, we're gonna say index equals vector store index creator. And now we'll be using this index from the documents that we loaded by loading the YouTube video. So we're gonna say return index dot from documents, and we're gonna give the docs. And now we have a perfect function. So load a vectorize is gonna do all the heavy, actual heavy lifting of loading the documents and vectorizing the information. And then the query index part is the easy part. We're just gonna say response is equal to, wait, response is equal to index.query. And then we're gonna give the query and then we're gonna return a response. We're just gonna say like return index response like this, right? It's fine. I mean, yeah, beautiful. So now I think we have everything that we need. Let's test out our little app. So we're gonna say, we're gonna remove this. We're gonna say, we are going to run the main function. It's important to know that to run this, you would need to run a pip install langchain and a chromadb and openai. So you have to have these three packages installed. I'm gonna put them in a requirements file in the repo that I'm gonna create for this project. Uh, yeah, so you would need pip install langchain chroma db and if I'm not mistaken, OpenAI, but you might not need OpenAI or do you? Not sure. Okay. Cool. So now let's test our app. So I'm going to run ask YouTube and I have to give a URL to this video. Let's give this URL how to learn skills faster. That's a topic that I'm really interested in. So minus URL. So now we're running our main function. So it's creating the Chroma uh, database. And now what is your question? What are five behavior protocols to learn faster? I'm just going to ask the, the obvious question. How to learn skills faster? <laughs> That's an obvious question for this particular video. There you go. Designate a block of time to perform repetitions of the skill. Try to perform the maximum repetition that you can do safely per unit time. Yeah, and I've seen that video, so that makes sense. Make errors within the same session. Use visual mental visualization to help with the learning consolidation of the practice. Nice. What are some important biological factors involved in learning new skills? Learning new skills involves performing many repetitions, releasing dopamine when something's performed correctly, making lots of errors to get the correct performance. All right, releasing dopamine. That makes, that makes sense with the video. So let's now say Q to exit. So now we exit and let's ask another, let's see another video. So let's see something like uh, uh, machine learning tutorial Python, something random, just, just to test. Okay, so we got, a, we got this tutorial here, machine learning with Python, Jupyter shortcuts. Okay, so perfect. Let's use this example. I'm going to use this example, so I'm going to run the same thing. So ask YouTube, and I'm going to say minus URL is this guy. And I'm going to ask something about the YouTuber, the, the Jupyter shortcuts, and let's see what happens. Okay, so what is your question? Uh, tell me some Jupyter shortcuts. Let's see. And now it takes a few seconds. Some useful shortcuts are pressing escape key to switch between edit mode and command mode, pressing command control to add remove combat, pressing A or B. That's all correct and perfect. So yeah, our tool is working perfectly. And that is how you ask any question to YouTube using LinkChain. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time, guys. Cheers.